Greetings, Blunderheads and YouTubers alike. This is One Shot Owl coming at you live with another tutorial. I am using Blender 2.69, the latest release as of 25th of November 2013. Uh, today's tutorial, tutorial will be on uh, speed control in the video editor. And I'm going to presume that you know a lot of the basics, so I'll just jump right into it. First thing we'll need to do is add a movie. I want to play with uh, a movie of the World Trade Center collapsing. Add that movie. I'm going to hit my scroll button so that we can zoom out a little bit. <coughs> right off the bat, you might notice that the sound wave doesn't match the number of frames of the video. Uh, that is because my frame rate isn't matching, my frame rate output isn't matching uh, the actual movie. I'm going to guess that it's 29.97, or was recorded at 29.97, and now we have a match. <coughs> So good enough uh, for a start right there. One little trick there. If your sound wave doesn't match your video. It's because your frame rate is wrong for the video. All right. Um, we're not going to need the sound wave. So I'm going to delete it now that we're matched up by hitting X and left clicking that. And this is about speed control. So we're going to add a speed control strip. We do that by going to the add button, clicking on that, and scroll up here to speed control, click on that, left click. Uh, you gotta have something selected to add it. All right. Now this is really simple. Right click back again on the video. Come over here to our properties window which can be brought up by pressing N or closed by pressing N. And if we wanted to like record this movie in slow motion, we would double the length of the frames. Uh, right now it is 753 frames which is over here which is a cool thing. My frames down here don't match that. That's just opened up at my default setting of 10,000 so that whatever I open up will usually play without rewinding after only 250 frames. But I digress. Um, say we wanted to slow this down to and re-record it in slow motion. A simple way to do that is just to double this. And an even simpler way to do that is to multiply it, hold shift, press it down, hold it, and hit the multiplication number 8, which gives us our little star button, press 2 on the number pad, and hit enter. The video is now twice as long, which means it will play, when I re record it, re-render it, it will play uh, in slow motion, so to speak, which is really cool for doing videos about World Trade Center, or anything for that matter, so you can get a real good look at what happened on 9-11. By the same token, if I wanted to Hap, uh, speed it up, so to speak. I click in this box and move my cursor line over to the end there. Hit the divide slash key. Press 2 on the number pad. And press enter. And we're back to where we were. 753. Or I could click in that box again. Move my cursor over to the end. Hit the divide slash key press 2 again, and now it will play twice as fast. This could be great for special effects or whatever. And 
that is pretty much it for the speed control. And this is one shot out, signing off.